Fu. Time for dinner. <laughs> it's not dinner time yet, Mommy. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> hmm. I wish there were only days and not nights. Huh? Oh. Do you know why there's day and night? Let knowledge play. He took the sun's spot. Hmm. Huh? That isn't true, Wufu. The sun disappears at night because of how the earth rotates. <laughs> you see, the earth is constantly rotating on its axis. One full rotation takes 24 hours, which makes one whole day. When one half of the earth faces the sun, it gets sunlight, and we call that daytime. The other half, hidden from the sun, is in darkness, and that's night time. Did you know there's a place on Earth where the sun doesn't set for weeks, even months? It happens in places near the North Pole or South Pole, like Norway, Sweden, Alaska, or Antarctica. I wish I could be there! It can actually be very tiring if there's only day or night. If there were no night, it would mean the sun was shining all day, all year long. That would make where we live extremely hot. Likewise, if there were no daytime, we would have to endure the cold all year round. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Why does the moon keep uh, following me? Uh. Do you huh? kids know why uh. the moon seems to follow us? Mm. Let knowledge click! <laughs> when we move, things that are closer to us appear to move faster. <laughs> like street lights or nearby cars. Mm. Objects that are farther away, like trees or mountains appear to move more slowly. This phenomenon is called the parallax effect. Now, let's talk about the distance between Earth and the Moon. The Moon is very far from the Earth. About 384,400 kilometers away. Oh. At this distance, your angle of view toward the Moon hardly changes, which make huh? it looks like it's staying still, no matter huh? where you go. So that means I can't outrun the moon, right? Huh? <laughs> the moon orbits the Earth at the speed of about 3,683 kilometers per hour. Ah. If you imagine you and the moon are racing, there's no way you could keep up with the speed. Ah. Not only is the moon far away, but it's also really huge. It can make you feel like you can see the moon everywhere you go. I got it! <laughs> oh no! Monster! It's eating the sun! <laughs> That's a solar eclipse, not a monster. But don't look at it with your bare eyes. Uh, why, Dr. Hoot? Do you want to know what it is? Let knowledge click! Usually, sunlight comes straight to Earth. But sometimes, the moon moves in front and blocks the sun. That's a solar eclipse. It's like when I make shadows on the wall with a flashlight, right? Mm -hmm. That's right! <laughs> There are three types of solar eclipse. Total eclipse, partial eclipse, ring-shaped eclipse, called annular eclipse. Wow. 
So, what are these glasses for, Dr. Hood? On a normal day, if you happen to glance at the sun, your pupil gets tiny because the light is so bright. That helps protect your eyes. During a solar eclipse, the sun looks dim, so your pupils stay wide. It feels safe to look, but the sun's harmful rays are still there. Those rays can really hurt your eyes. It's like using a magnifying glass to burn paper. Your eyes can handle that. That's why you need these special glasses. So, what if we don't have these glasses? <gasps> you can use the pinhole projector. The sunlight goes through a Ooh. tiny hole and shows the eclipse on the paper. You look at the paper, not at the sky. They block almost all the strong rays from the sun. We got it! <laughs> wow. What's that colorful robe? It's a rainbow. Oh. Hmm. Did you know what it is? Let knowledge click! White sunlight splits into many colors when it passes through water. That's wow. called dispersion. What colors can you see? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Oh no! The rainbow is fading! Rainbows won't stay for long. Mm. Rainbows only appear when sunlight and tiny water drops are both in the sky. When the sun goes away or the drops dry up, the rainbow disappears too. Uh. Do you want to make a rainbow? <laughs> A real rainbow! Why is this one a circle? Rainbows are actually full circle. But because you see them from the ground, you can only see a half of it. I want to have one more! You're making double rainbow! Wow. A double rainbow happens when sunlight bounces twice inside a raindrop. It makes two rainbows. The second one is lighter and the colors go the other way around. Can a rainbow ever be upside down like this? Yes! Sometimes you might see an upside down rainbow. It happens when sunlight bends through tiny ice crystal high up in the sky. It makes a rainbow that curves up, like a big smile in the sky. We got it! Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.